Poland, what are you up to these days? Poland just kind of doing her own thing. Um, I thought we, 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 we played, uh... I know we played the French Republic when that update dropped. Um, and I think we also played Canada around the same time. All is prepared. We have prepared everything for the upcoming Congress. Shelter, food, and meeting rooms, all of it. The Congress will take several days for when it starts. And subject of all kind will be welcome to the table. The future of Germany will soon be decided. Yeah, so our economy basically is trash, but, you know, let's not worry about that too much. The first Congress of German Unions will finish automatically. And do I pick who wins? No, at least not right. Oh, no, now I can. The first Congress of German Unions. The Revolutionary government has called upon the first Congress of German Unions in which every union, party, or political organization with more than 20,000 members is allowed to participate. The leading candidates are the SMEPD, which promotes heavily, a heavily Marxist influenced form of syndicalism, and the SPDR, the radicalized wing of the SPD, which calls for a socialist democracy. Well, there are other horses in the race as well, the FAUD, which has lost a lot of influence thanks to the le legal formation of leftist parties in Germany, and the NMDVP, which is led by Churchill Goebbels, and is not accepted by the other parties for its ultra-nationalism, motion of traditional values, and the so-called for a national rebirth. I think, yeah, the people in, in Twitch have voted for the FAUD victory. FAUD has won the election. Which gives us a brand new flag. Rudolf Rocker is now in charge, and the Union of German Syndicalists is born. I wish we had a kind of a better flag, but you know what can you do? Yeah, and you won't happen until the final rearmament. Which again, I'm assuming is this. We actually leave the international now. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes in the future. Um, industrial resource distribution. Actually, what, what do the other ones do? Democratic Union. I mean, it's too late for that now. You require this one, which is more stability. Okay, I'll, I'll take more stability. Because stability, I would say, is always good. Maybe, maybe just, just, uh, just, uh, just a little bit. Yeah, so these units will deploy. Just deploy in Berlin, I think, seems fine. What are the other ones we got? So we got direct union democracy. Uh, right now, America is basically the same. The only the American Civil War will probably be happening in a few months. But I don't think uh, I don't think they can avoid it. I know some some routes can, but I don't believe that Charles Curtis can avoid the Civil War. I might be wrong on that though. We are allowed to become military pilots. Right, Rustani has died. I don't think anybody's really surprised by that. It's like a Plackenthalman. And I need to please zoom out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so that requires you. But we can only do this actually if we were the SPD. And then after that, we can go for the Anarchist Future. Legalization of Marijuana. Free the Sex. Finance the Arts. We're now in... I mean, we're still gonna... I mean, I'm starting to think, like, what's gonna happen? Because, like, the... The second military can't really begin... In the same way that it normally does, right? Like, can... I mean, can France actually declare war on us? I'm curious. France. Gotta wait for the game to load. Can you declare war on me? No, because the German Empire does not exist. So you actually, we can't actually go to war with each other. I guess it would be everyone against Russia in the future? I mean, that makes the most amount of sense. I mean, yeah, Russia is basically going to kill everybody over here, and they're not going to have any competition whatsoever. Yeah, they're, they're doing the expansionist route. And you know what? If I was Russia, I'd be also be doing the expansionist route, uh, given the situation. Okay, stand off in America. So civil war has happened. So let's see. Are they going? Oh, they're having they're having the big civil war. Okay. 
We got MacArthur, the CSA, uh, the Constitutional American Republic, American Union State, the Pacific States, and the Western Command Center. So nothing too, too crazy there, I would say. You'll fight the Entente? I mean, I'm not surprised I ended up fighting the Entente. By the way, do I at least have commanders now that aren't generic portraits? No, I do not. Okay. You don't have a bad time? Probably. Okay, let's immediately go to early mobilization. We need to get at least some civilian factories for ourselves because our civilian factory situation is absolutely dreadful. Pretty, pretty bad. Instantly attack Canada. I don't know if I, I don't really have the troops right now to instantly attack the Canadians. Follow you up with. Probably this Union Direct at Democracy would make sense. Because we can't do this because you require. Universal healthcare? Yeah, you can't get universal healthcare because we're no. Uh, we're not one of these guys. Covering economy. Actually, you, can't only, you can only do this at Thalman, is actually the leader. You can get down to here, but you cannot get uh, the Union Trade Committees. Or, uh, yeah. Union Trade Committee. You can't go down the Union Congress. So if we can remove our absolutely dreadful pe uh, penalty, that would be pretty nice. You want to, if you want to win as the, the Western Command Center, is it, does anything happen if the Western Command Center actually ends up winning the entire war? Pro I'm curious, do they have anything for if, they act, if they're the ones to unify the country? I guess they do. The American Pompeii. Brand of your organization. A stunning victory. Good old back in business. But I, I can't see a reality where somehow the Western Command Center ends up winning. <laughs> it seems basically impossible. At least for the uh, the AI. So Russia didn't announce their ambitions. I don't think anybody's so surprised by that. Everyone in America is at war. Is America Israel? Uh, not to begin with. They're, they're just a uh, social liberal. They, they can do it. I, I know they've done it in the past. We'll see if they uh, end up doing it once again here. Okay, so we have 12 units. We're just going to deploy them immediately into the Dutch line. We could actually start justifying war goals right now. We, actually, we have a core state on Luxembourg. You know, yeah, let's just invade. Let's invade Luxembourg or invade uh, Belgium. Because why not, right? I want my course. Are you? Cor yeah, you're a core state. You're not, but that's okay. Let's get a war going, boys. Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. It'll be a sad day for you, my friends. Okay, so the Mountain Republic has declared war on the Georgian uh, socialist state. Not too sure who's going to come out on top there. Uh, let's then go for construction time. Direct Union Democracy has finished. So we're, we're basically just trying to get our horrible penalty to be less bad. Uh, let's do some yeah, anti-discrimination laws. And when will this war will be ready in... It's in 90 days. Three months. It'll be ready in June. Okay, that's not so, 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 so bad. Take our core in Belgium. Bring Luxembourg directly into the country. You also declare war on Azerbaijan. Okay, declare war on Azerbaijan and Georgia. That's, I, I think, a little bit too much for you to survive. But you know what? Good luck to you. Do, do the best you possibly can. Uh, Excavation 1. You're a little bit too ahead of time. Let's just go for some artillery upgrades. The artillery upgrades are nice, I think. Liberty Conscription has absolutely no penalty, so we'll go with that one. What are your political power gain? But a lot of decent modifiers. Lack of resource penalty minus 10%. Conversion cost, I never care about that. The Zard has been resorted in Transmere. 
Kirill the first has declared himself the Russian Emperor, just uh, in Vladivostok. They are the USBR. T.E. Lawrence has declared... So T.E. Lawrence has cooed... They, they cooed Mosley. Wait, so does that mean... Are you going to bring back the United Kingdom? I don't know. Because it used to be possible in Kaiserreich for... For T.E. Lawrence to, to coup uh, Oswald and then invite the British monarchy back to the country. No matter who wants the cocks will get invaded by Russia. You know, that's... No, you're not wrong there. The USBR. U well, what would the USBR even stand for? The United Socialist British Republic? That would be my guess, but... We'll see. I mean, I, I think T.E. Lawrence can just stay in power. But they, I think he can invite the British monarchy. Which does kind of make things a little bit awkward. Also, Venice is now independent. Hello, Venice. Okay. Either good or bad. Anti-discrimination laws. Follow that up with... Uh, militias. Love is love. A long-running conservative when Germany has per has persisted up until the deposition of the Kaiser has offered some of the harshest punishments for the homosexuals of Germany. Homosexual activity was met with harsh prison sentences and hard labor, and in some cases resulted in some of them being sent to mental institutions for electroshock therapy, and in the case of high-profile homosexuals, experimental lobotomy treatments. The FAUD has viewed the treatment of gays and lesbians in this matter as incredibly barbaric and backwards, uh, which is why it has come a little surprise uh, to any they, dec they decriminalize homosexuality and enacted legal protections towards them. Under the new laws, homosexuals will be granted equal opportunities in all levels of government, employment, and military service, with any institutional discrimination towards or hate crime towards them being met with legal punishment. The most controversial aspect of these new laws is the protection of a very small transsexual community in Germany, uh, which even some members of the FAUD think is going a bit too far, as it might bolden the already inflamed reactionary resistance to these new laws. However, despite the challenges towards the new laws, many members of the FAUD and progressives in Germany think that this is a step in the right direction. Back to tree. Expand the... The new Cromwell. Okay, yeah, the Union of British Socialist British Republics. Okay. So he's, he's declared himself to be the new Cromwell. He did not go for... Um, Dismantling totalism in Britain. He's decided instead to declare himself uh, the, the new Cromwell. Didn't, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Cromwell get executed after like after like ten years? Uh, let's go for 1918 or 1938 uh, tech here. Switzerland is probably going to go national populist because the Commune of France did take over Romandi. I think I mean, they got a pretty cool flag though. I'm not. I'm not too. Is that Big Ben in the middle? I think that's Big Ben in the middle, but I'm not a hundred percent too sure. Anything happening over here? The Russian Empire is doing its own thing. Let's build up more military factories in the heartland of Germany. We still missing rubber. We can actually import rubber from our old colonies. We get tungsten from the Portuguese. Seems good enough to me. Like, what are you guys... What can you guys even do anymore? I mean, you're, I'm guessing what you're going to do is mostly just get murdered by the Japanese. And then Middle Africa, I actually I don't know what they can do. I, mean, I know they got social democratic, but like, what can they really do without a Germany to to guide them? I mean, I figure, you know, yeah, they, they still exist. They got all their puppet states. Okay, who's winning in America? Uh, probably not MacArthur. The Canadians have intervened. Uh, New England is socialist. Yeah, sure, why not? They're they're a puppet of of Britain. Is this the um? 
going on to an act like the Quakers, the radical socialists that are helping out the Pacific states. You're right, they're not showing up on screen. Why is that not, uh... I don't know why they're not showing up on screen anymore. Oh, it, it might be because of, uh... I'm guessing it's because I had to restart the stream. It kind of broke it. So next time it'll be back. I'm not I'm not too sure why it's not on screen anymore. I, I, I somehow didn't even notice that. Can I, can I? On sending chatter source. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it fixes itself. I'll make sure it's fixed by next stream. It's, I'm, I'm assuming it's because I had to restart the stream and it kind of broke it. Because we were dropping a stupid amount of frames at the beginning of the stream. Okay, so we got some militias now. Follow militias up with... Uh, let's go with anti-authoritarian education. Yeah, the, the CAR is... Um, it's just colored black. We'll see if they might end up with a black belt re uh, revolt. Get on the top right. Okay, we have all planes in reserve. I don't think we need. We don't really care about the planes right now. Seeing as we're not at war. I mean, we're gonna be at war with Belgium soon. So actually, maybe I do care about the planes. So let's let's get those aircraft. Have all the planes just fly over the lowlands. Combine all of these guys up. As much as you possibly can. We could invade Switzerland, you're not wrong. How long would that take though? I feel like that's gonna take yeah, 220 days. It's a little while. Yeah, France, France did take over a little chunk of Switzerland. And now we got the, the holy state of southern Italy is now all of Italy. They've unified, and they have thrown off the Austrian yolk. Hey, look. You, uh, Riga is joining Internationale. Good for them. Hey, Belgium. Uh, I'm going to kill you, just so you know. And we're going to call in... Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to call in the French. I think we're just going to take Luxembourg and kill all of you. Liberate Italy from itself. In due time, my friend, in due time. I'm assuming at some point you're going to be called not Southern Italy. Probably to say the Holy State of Italy. Or, or something to that regard. Because just calling it the Holy State of Southern Italy when it's the entirety of Italy is a little bit strange. Oh, it is. You're right. What's going on with that? Font settings, chatter... That, that's very strange. I don't know why. I'll just turn it off. Okay, just, just turn it off for right now. Again, we'll worry about it next stream. It, that, that, that's a future issue. It's a future issue. Uh, more propaganda? Yeah, yeah, might as well. War propaganda against Belgium never hurt. But Belgium will be our puppet state. I don't think we need to get the, the French involved. I mean, it'll help, uh, help us kill them a little bit faster, but... I'm curious. I'm actually I'm going to test something. We're going to test the widget out. Uh, let's test the follow. Oh, that still works. If that still works, I do not know why... Oh, did I press it twice? That's my fault. Uh, if that's working, I don't know why the, the, the chat box is not working. I find that very strange. But again, we'll worry about it next stream. I, I, there's like half an hour left in the stream. It's not it's not worth the uh, worrying about right now. Okay, one of our commanders has fallen ill. Why are you all on the border with Austria? I find that'll be a little bit strange. I don't know if you're planning on on killing them. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we can give France back their territory. I'll be... You know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just call France in. We'll give them Dunkirk back. Hey, France, you want to be in the war? 
and a new curriculum. When it comes to educating the children of Germany, it is a matter of utmost importance. The FAUD understands this idea well, as education at an early age better prepares children for life as an adult, or it can be used as a tool for manipulating the next generation. Whatever the case may be, Unius Councils are running a coordinated effort to overhaul education in all areas, from the curriculum to the facilities. Although the exact specifics of the anarcho-syndicalist curriculum may differ based on areas in Germany, there's a general agreement that children will be educated on the ideas of their, uh, of their society. The main tenets include emphasis on equality and cooperation among all peers, the encouragement of progressive ideals and, experiment and experimentation, teaching students that inherit wrongs of the reactionary capitalist, Oh, you know, teaching students of the inherent wrongs of the reactionary, capitalistic, and imperialist Germanys of yore, the inner workings of the anarcho syndicalist system, and the ideals that power it. Some families claim that the new curriculum is purely ideological and doesn't prepare the next generation for actual work. In some towns, there's a notable absence of subjects such as calculus and physics, while subjects revolving around socialist political theory and the arts are being more, uh, are taking, get more precedence in schooling. FADUs have addressed these concerns by emphasizing how an anarcho syndicalist future must be secure uh, within education first before the reactionaries poison the next generation. Franklin Corso Malonia. Franklin's actually having a much tougher time killing these guys than I would have originally thought. You just move here, move your way towards the northern cities. We'll go take Brussels and Antwerp afterwards. Haiti's declared a war on the Dominican Republic. We'll see who comes out on top there. And no national focus set. Uh, let's go then for community housing. And march away towards Liege. We can march away towards Brussels and Antwerp. Nova Russia demands international re uh, recognition. No Russia demands international recognition. This is all the states allied with Russia. We can't support their independence. Nova Russa is this guy right here. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's recognize Nova Russa as being an independent state. Sure, they're reactionary, but, you know, if I also stop the Russians, then so be it. Make your way over to Namur. Brussels is defended by a single bike division. How are you having this much trouble actually killing them off? Okay, Antwerp has fallen. Brussels will fall in a moment as well. We have 12 more infantry divisions. Put two of you on this. And we'll get a third army. I guess you will just basically be on the border with Poland. At least for right now, I think that makes sense. Uh, let's then follow you up with... We can get a support of companies... Engineering text. Now, let's just go over more. He's only 37. Let's go excavation one. Follow that up with partial mobilization. 